Hi guys, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 8 in Mapping Data Flow Scenarios Playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to filter out records based on runtime value provided during pipeline execution using Mapping Data Flow. So let's see what we are going to learn. So our requirement is to filter out records based on some condition and we have to provide the value for that condition during the pipeline execution means during the runtime of the ADF pipeline. So if you see the first image, this is how our source data looks like. It has a, an array called value and inside that array, there is another array called data. And inside that, there are two objects. One is this one and another one is this one. If you see the status property, it is open for one of the uh, object and closed for another one. Okay, similarly, this is another record for which uh, this is the first object, this is the second object and uh, similarly for one uh, the status is closed and another uh, status is opened. So our requirement is based on the condition of status we have to fetch the uh, UID and status value and load it into SQL table Okay, like this. So if we provide status should be closed only uh, this particular record and this particular record should be fetched and loaded into SQL table. And if we provide status equals to open, then this record and this record should be loaded into the table. Okay. So this is our use case. But we need to provide the status value during the pipeline execution. It should not be hard coded. Okay. So let's go to the AD pipeline and start creating the data flow. So let me add a new data flow. And I have already turned this data flow debug option. So you have to turn this on so that you will be able to preview the data during the designing of data flow. Okay. So let me add a source transformation here. And let me create a data set which will be pointing to my ADLS account where I have my source data in the form of JSON. Okay. So let me uh, create the new data set pointing to demo folder where I have my source data set here okay so if you try to look at the source data set it is uh, source data this is how it looks okay so and the data set is created now and I have already told in my previous video that in source option we have to define what is the JSON format so in our case it is array of document again okay okay so let's preview the data now okay so everything is contained inside this value array there are two items here and inside each of them, there is an array called data and there is some property called pagination which we do not need to consider for this video. Okay. And inside data array, there are two items. You can see each one of them is having the ID and status value. Okay. This is what we uh, talked about in our presentation, right? Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to first flatten the data and just take uh, UID and status as the separate columns okay because this is what we need to um, load it into the SQL table as two separate columns right so let's add flatten transformation and try to flatten the JSON data okay so here we have to select the array which we need to flatten so let me select data array inside that data we have properties called UID and status that we need to consider as two columns okay so let me delete this and let me add UID and this is the name that automatically got added so I'm fine with it and let me add status as well and this is the uh, column name for status okay so let's preview the data now so you can see the source data got converted into two columns one is UID and other one is status okay now as we have discussed our requirement is to filter out this data based on what status we will provide during the pipeline execution okay so if we provide status equals to closed only these two records should be uh, coming up okay if we provide status equals to open during the pipeline execution only these two records should be loaded into the SQL table okay so uh, if you remember from our previous video uh, the transformation which we need to use to filter out any data is called filter transformation okay so let me add filter transformation here and here let me give expression called here we will make use of function called equals 
which will help us to do comparison between the data okay because we need to check if the status equals to open or status equals to closed so we have to make the comparison between the status column and the uh, string value closed or open okay so let me add this uh, function and now let me go to the input schema and click on this status column okay now if we want to compare it with the status equals to open then here is how we will provide the string value like this okay now if we preview the data it will show us only those records which are in open status okay so out of these four records only two records should be uh, popping up there and uh, the value of id should be bd something and d0 something so this is what we are getting in the uh, data preview option after filter transformation so we are good with this right uh, but what we need to do we need to provide this uh, status during the runtime so we need to create a parameter okay so here i just clicked on this white canvas and this parameter tab got opened where we can create a new parameter here let me provide status okay now let me go to the filter settings again and instead of open let me remove this and let me go to parameters option and let me select this so you can see uh, a dollar symbol got added and this is uh, being treated as the parameter now let me save and finish now the data flow is parameterized let me add the sync transformation and point to our uh, azure sql database so i have selected an existing data set which is pointing to the table called load status okay so we will be loading the data in this uh, table okay now let me run this data flow using the pipeline okay let me create a new pipeline and let me call this data flow okay here you can see there is a tab inside this data flow activity there is a tab called parameters where this parameter called status is coming automatically which is nothing but the same status uh, parameter which we created in here inside the data flow okay so we have to provide the value here during the runtime so what we will do if we provide the value directly here it will be nothing but hard coded value so we don't want uh, to provide any hard coded value we want to provide the values during the runtime so what we will do i clicked on this white canvas and here we have the option to provide parameter on the pipeline level okay not on activity level this is the pipeline parameter so here i will create a parameter called status and here inside this data flow activity parameters tab uh, once i clicked on this value it is giving me option to provide either data flow expression or pipeline expression here we will choose pipeline expression because we have to provide the data during the runtime so let me use this uh, pipeline expression and here i will select this status which is nothing but pipeline parameter okay so we are good now our data flow is parameterized and whatever value we will be providing during the runtime it will take the same as the input and perform the action accordingly okay so let me hit on this debug and during the runtime it is asking what should be the status value okay so i can give either open or closed okay because in our source data you can see either there is open or closed value okay so if i give closed it should give me uh, these two records a1 uh, sorry 1a and 8d okay if i give open then it should give me bd and d0 okay so let me give open first and let me hit on okay and let me go to the sql table during the meantime and let me write down the query to select data from load status table okay okay so the data flow already got completed it seems let me hit refresh yeah so it already got completed so the data is coming properly and you can see we provided the status as open so these two records are coming bd something and d0 something so let me reconfirm it should be bd for open and d0 so it is good so the data got loaded for open status okay now similarly we will run for closed status okay so let me hit de on debug and let me uh, first delete the data from the table delete from load status okay 
there is nothing in the table now let me uh, run for closed state status okay let me turn okay and wait for the data flow execution to be completed so the execution is completed let's go to the uh, sql table and select the data from load status so you can see only those records where the status is closed those has been loaded into the sql table so uh, let, let's verify the same uh, the id should be 1a and 8d so let's check the uh, expected output it is 1a and 8d for status equals to closed okay guys so this is what i wanted to cover in this video so here we learned how to parameterize the data flow and pass the values during the pipeline execution okay i hope you like the video please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet okay please stay tuned thank you